what is going on ladies and gentlemen Kings Reaper here and welcome back to another new game review now this game is called Anamnesis and it's pretty much a game like Slay the Spire now this game came out today or yesterday on Steam I'm not even sure exactly when and yeah it's pretty much the same game only there's few differences between it but Anyway guys, we're gonna jump straight into it, I already played the game a bit, past the tutorial just to see how things function, and now there's nothing else to do but to play the game. Death is not the end of memory. It is merely detachment of memory from the immortal soul. Mmm, lights. You have returned to the afterlife, I see. You have one request. What will it be? So pretty much we get to choose what we start off with. Now, last run I started off with finance. So you start with 100%, with 100 energy more to spend, which is like a gold in... Slay the Spire, so this time I'm gonna choose one of three memories to start off with. Gain one gear. Hmm. Flickering. Oh, this looks nice. So the enemies that are taking... Okay, okay. And I'm your reincarnation. Okay, let's see how this goes. Act 1, Cyclops in the Dungeon. So we start off against a bat. So let's see, what do we do? Hmm. Sword Slash. Yeah, we're gonna deal 8 damage. And... Let's see, do we damage him further on or defend? Yeah, let's go for defense. Hmm, flickering. Okay. Flaming aura. Nice. Um, should we use this? Yeah, yeah, let's go with this. Just to see what it does. So now we're gonna go and shield some more. And we're gonna damage him for eight. Oh, nice. So when he attacks me now, he actually receives damage. Let's try to stack it. Nope. Does not stack. Okay. Hmm. Let's go with the sword stab and just be done with it. Okay, so now we're dealing with two bats. Okay. Um... Let's go with shields, or... Sh yeah, I think I should shield up first. Yeah, I don't have enough mana to do anything else, so I think I'm gonna block again. Just to stack these into a combo. Yeah, so now if I use it again... Oh yeah, there we go. We have a 3-set defensive combo, which means we gained for the 6 turns that the enemies attack for 1 less damage, so we reduce their damage. And yeah, it's best off to end the turn. Let's see what we get next turn. Hmm. I think I should try to get the 6-set combo. Because then we should heal up, I think, 6 HP. I just want to test it and see if it actually works. Hmm. Yeah, let's use this one for 3 mana. And that's it. Mm-hmm, okay. Yeah, let's go. Safeguard and then shielding. Yeah, I think... You do get 6 HP back from that, but we didn't get it now because we are already full HP. So, yeah, that's fine. Now we have a 6 set combo. What do we do? What does the 9 set combo deal? What kind of an effect do we get? I don't know, let's give it a shot. 
I just want to see what happens. Hmm. Yeah, we could use both of these right now. Perfect. Eight set combo. Nine set combo. Oh, nice. We reduced the damage for one turn for 99%, which means this guy should deal zero damage. That's nice, but we didn't regenerate any health on six set combo, as I said, because we are already full HP. Okay. Uh, let's see, what do we do now? Mm, sword slash. Yep. Another sword slash. Hmm. Do I defend or... Yeah, yeah, let's defend. Let's defend. So you can go into defensive combos and into offensive combos as well. So let's go with the sword stab. Yeah, that dealt with that bat. Perfect. Okay. Let's keep on going. So we earned 450 energy, focus, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so let's see. So you can basically choose whether you want to go to a treasure, event, camp, or a shop, which is pretty much the same as in Slay the Spire. There you only get the map. Now I think I am going to go to... No, I'm not. I think I'm not going to go to the shop. I mean, in shop you can buy new cards or memories. At camp you can actually restore some HP, upgrade your memories, or forget them. And we can go for the treasure. So this time let's go for the treasure and see what we get. Ooh, Jaggernaut. We get 10 more HP. That's nice. A perk. Nice. Okay, let's push on. Let's see, what do we get next? Ooh, Snake Boy. So, how do we deal with him? Let's see. Mm, sword Slash. Okay, okay. So, I think we'll do Flickering first. And then hit the snake two times. Now, he is going to deal three damage to us. But he's going to receive one damage from that attack. And now we can finish him off and get the three set or three hit combo. Which actually goes to the next round as well. Okay, so what do we do now? Let's see. Could we kill the bat in the first round? Oh, yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can. Goodbye, Mr. Bat. Which leaves us open for three damage. But he's going to receive two damage as well. Okay, so what do we do now? Should I just deal with the snake immediately and kill it? I should be able to kill it in this turn. Let's use this attack. Perfect. And now we get the flaming sword as well as a six hit offensive combo, which deals additional damage and the attacks actually turn into a flaming attacks, which are no longer affected by certain effects. Okay, nice. Let's continue on. There we go, Mr. Skull. Now the good thing is we have that 7 hit combo and we have a flaming sword because he actually can defend your attacks and takes only 1 damage unless it's elemental attack. So now he did receive 12 damage and leaves him open because we did remove his uh, defensive thingy, defensive effect. And he should be pretty much dead if I hit him immediately with everything I've got, right? Yeah, 15 damage and he is stunned because we have we, we just gained a 9 hit combo. Nice. Okay, not bad. Oh, so that's it for this level. Perfect. So what do we get to choose now? Mm, event or shop? I never actually went to event, so I think we'll do the event and see what happens. Suddenly, I remember a harmful deed I did to someone in my past life. Guilt floods my soul. 
Should I embrace it and pay for my karma, or avoid facing the consequences? Mm, okay, so if we avoid, forget a random memory requires more than 10 memories. Pay the karma and gain a curse. Hmm. I think we'll just go with forget a random memory because I don't want to be cursed. Nice, we just forgot the same thing that we got from our previous run. Okay, perfect. So this event didn't go as well as I wanted it to, but let's keep on pushing. So we got two enemies and I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to start gaining those combos in defensive positions so that I could actually try to heal up six health. I really wonder if it's gonna work. Let's try it. Nice, we have a three set defensive combo. So we need to play three more defensive cards and we should be able to gain six health. Okay, we're on five set defensive combo, nice. Perfect. Okay, let's see if it works. Oh yes, it does. We gain six health from defensive combo, perfect. Okay, well, let's see what we get next. We should start building up our offensive combo now. So, let's do... Hmm. What's the best option here? I think we should go all in when it comes to attacks or maybe defend. Defend once again. Yeah, let's defend once again and leave it like that for now. Okay, so... Go with the safeguard. And... Hmm. Do I even benefit from a 9-set combo? I don't. I don't. It's better to attack. It's just better to attack because I don't benefit from that. I should start building offensive combo, so... Let's see. Oh, yeah, I can kill the bat instantly with this. Perfect. So that's one adversary less to deal with. And... Yeah, I shall defense now against the snake. Okay. So, I, when you go from offensive to defensive, you actually lose your combo. So now, since I did lose it... Uh, yeah, let's just start hitting the snake and we'll defend once that's fine and the snake should be dead this turn hmm let's see yeah we'll de we'll go with sword slash and another one since it was left on one hp okay let's keep on pushing mm, bat and the snake okay what do we do? Let's let's shield up first. Shield up once again. Uh, yeah, that's it pretty much for this turn. So I might as well go once more defensive. Hmm. Yeah, let's gain the three set combo. Good. Now they're gonna deal less damage for six turns. Perfect. Um, let's go with attacking combos now. Okay. Um, can we kill him? Yes, we can. So he's dealt with, and we can do the sword slash, and that should be... Yeah, that should be the combo. Perfect. Yeah, three hit combo. Nice. Now we're gonna deal some more damage even further on. Let's kill this snake. Can we do this? Can we do this? Oh, yes, we can. Nice. Overkill. Well, can't help it. Okay, so we have a bat and a skull. So, actually, hmm, if I go and into offensive once more, hmm, or maybe better defend. Hold on. Yeah, let's defend and then maybe start attacking Bat. Hmm. 
Should I hit the bat or the skull? I mean, yeah, I think it's better if we go with the skull. Yeah. So these guys are gonna deal one damage, which is fine. Okay, so what do we do next? Um, let's go weird with the sword slash on bat. Oh yeah, nice. So we can actually kill the bat now. Yep, yep, yep. We're gonna kill the bat. Nice, we have a three hit combo, perfect. Do we shield up? He's gonna deal one damage. There's nothing else we can do, but if I shield up, I'm gonna lose the combo. Nah, I'm just gonna pass the turn. It's fine if we take one damage, that's not that dramatic. So let's keep on hitting him. Yeah, it's better to use two mana because I'm gonna be left with one mana and I won't be able to use it in any good way. And this turn we should be able to kill him. Let's see. Oh yeah, perfect. And now we get a six hit combo. Perfect. Okay, so this guy actually takes zero damage from normal attacks for the next two turns. But... I think if we have the flaming sword, or that's how I call it, or, or the buff, which adds the fire damage, maybe it counts towards a magical damage? Hmm, let's give it a shot. Oh, it actually works! He did receive full amount of damage, so re he received all the damage. Okay, that's very nice. Oh damn, he's gonna be left on 3 HP. Well, I guess he's gonna attack once, but the Flaming Sword actually gives me a good buff against this enemy. So, I guess we found a new way to deal with this. these guys. Like, the Flaming Sword actually gives that buff and turns all the normal attacks into flaming attacks, which is good. So, he should be dead right now. Yep. Overkill. Okay, so we get to choose something new. Let's see, what do we get? Oh, we get all the possibilities. Do we go for the treasure or maybe shop? Yeah, let's go shop. I have a lot of focus to spend. Mm, let's see, what cards do we get here? Well, this isn't actually bad. These cards looks look nice. Um, so we get to burn the enemies for each combo, so three times the combo, that looks interesting. Okay, should we buy this card? We have 1500, which is not that bad. We could actually buy quite a few cards. And this card is also nice. Hit For one mana, we hit two times for six damage, which is quite good. So one mana... And it's 12 damage, so I'm definitely buying this. Hmm. Let's see, what else do we get? Do we buy this card? Yeah, let, let's just buy it and see how it works. Hmm, what else do we get? So gain three. And for each other card that we use, gain additional shield. Hmm. Do we want this? I think it, sh it should be good. So for the shielding combo, that should be quite good. Let's buy this one as well, and this one. And yeah, I think that's it for now. That That's good. That's fine for now. Good. Let's continue on. Let us continue on. Mm, what do we get here? Shields. Should I shield up? Hold on, let's see. Oh, this is actually nice. Um, let's gain three shields and additional three shields. Nice. Okay. Perfect. So it takes zero damage so far. Let's shield up some more to get that combo. I think I want to regenerate some HP as well. Okay, zero damage taken. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's keep on pushing with the shields. 
So we're on five set defensive combo. That's good. So one more and we should regenerate six HP. Mm, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, how do we do this? Yeah, let's put this one. It gives me three shields and we regenerated six health. Six health back. Perfect. Okay. So what do we do now? Do we go with offensive, like straight up? Yeah. Let's just start hitting those snakes. Let's see what they do. Hmm. Okay, so we get the duo thingy, uh, and we got the smundering, smeldering. Hmm, not bad. So we we are on five combo, right? No, wait. Did the combo go down? Hmm. I I'm not gonna use that right now. I think I'm gonna use it a bit later when I get the combo back up. So for now, I. think... I think I'm gonna go with a. So this snake is on 17. Yeah, let's shield up. Go with duo. And the snake is left on 1 HP. And let's kill it. Nice. Oh, so there we go. Now it's gonna be 18 damage. Nice. Okay. Okay, got it. So he's gonna deal three damage, but hmm, can we kill him this turn? Sixteen damage. Yeah, we should be able to kill him. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's dead. Perfect. Okay, so now we have three enemies to deal with. Um, should I continue with the offensive combo? Yeah, let's do this. Can we kill him actually with this card? Oh yes, we can. Perfect. So now we get a flaming sword buff as well. Uh, so let's see, what do we do now? If I, yeah, I, I have to play the two cost because otherwise it's gonna be useless, I think. Oh man, almost dead. So now we get to take six damage. Oh no, wait, what? Can't do anything on our turn. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Anything? Nothing? Oh, damn it. We get to take another six damage. Wow. That's amazing. Okay, so... What do we do now? Hmm. We hit him and kill him. Yeah. And now he's stunned, but let's burn him to the ground. Ooh, nice. 36 damage. Perfect. Okay, what's next? Three enemies again. Uh, that's a lot of damage. So I think I'm gonna start building up the defensive thing to gain some health back because I would really like to, to regenerate at least six HP. Because the last round costed us quite a lot. Okay, so we defended against those attacks. All good. Okay. Um, let's use safeguard. Yeah, let's use the safeguard as well. And our turn. Okay. Let's shield up. Again. Perfect. So we are on four set combo. If you get two defensive cards, which we can use immediately, we can. Perfect. Now that means we can actually immediately gain those six HP back. Perfect. 30 HP. That's nice. Okay. Let's end the turn and we can start focusing on offensive combos now. Hmm, 16 damage. Do we use it? Yeah, let's maybe shield up and then use it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's it. Nice. Should we use it on skull or on bat? 
Yeah, let's kill him. That's instant death for the bath. And now... We take some damage. No, we don't take any damage. That's perfect. Okay, so... Do I need... So, it lasts for one more turn. Hmm. What do we do? Do we shield up? Yeah, let's shield up. It's good. Because we need to get that first combo, I think, in order to extend this stuff. Uh, oh, yeah, that's nice. Defensive stance. Perfect. Six turns. We are safe for the next six turns. That's nice. Okay, so now we can start building maybe our offensive combo. Hmm. Nah, let's defend some more. Let's defend some more, because I would love to have another 6 HP returned to me. That would be nice. So yeah, let's use this. Perfect. And now we can start working on that offensive combo. Hmm. Do we do this or no? Hold on. Um... Yeah, let's use duo on Mr. Snake. And that's it for this turn. Now we can start building our offensive combo. So we get this, that, hmm, yeah, he should be dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. Okay, and now we can hit the Skull Boy. Perfect. Nine damage, okay. Not bad. Let's keep on hitting him, because we need to take him down ASAP. Hmm. Let's see what we what can we do. We, we can gain that, but we don't need that. We are full when it comes to that power-ups or whatever they are called. But I'm going to use it anyway, because it costs one mana. And... Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's use this attack. He's dead. Perfect. Okay, so we have these two guys. We have Inflamed Sword, which we should use immediately maybe against that dude. Hmm. The Ghost Boy. Yeah. Let's go and hit him immediately with this, and then Sword Slash as well on him. Good. So he's left on 6 HP. Okay. We should finish him off. With a sword slash. Yep. And that's gonna stun this guy, so he's not gonna be able to attack me. We do have flaming sword, which means, yep, he's gonna take the damage and he's gonna lose the effect. Ooh, nice. This is a lot of damage. Goodbye, Mr. Skull. Goodbye. Perfect. So these guys are dead as well. Okay. What's up next? Oh, that's up next. So we have a boss level. Perfect. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? Um, Three damage. Yeah, let's go defensive. What is his effect, actually? I'm not even sure. Hold on. He's gonna attack for one. Okay. For two turns, it's still gonna last the shield. Um, Hold on. What's his effect? Okay, so we need to burn away his shield in order to start hitting him properly. Otherwise, we're just gonna keep doing one damage. So, in that case, I can actually keep on defending to get a combo and wait for the burn. There we go. So, we can burn away his effect. Perfect. Now, we can... Should we start attacking? Yeah. Well, there's only one card we can play. That's nice. And their turn. Hmm. Let's see, what do we do? Um, sword stab? Hmm. Spirit slash. Hold on. Um, should we maybe gain some defense? Yeah, let's gain the defense. Because he does 3 damage, which 
Hurts a lot. Yeah, we're gonna end our turn here. Okay. So he's gonna deal one damage this turn. Okay, so what do we do now? Um, defense or offense? Um, let's see. Five turns, one damage. It doesn't say anything here about it. Uh, okay. Hmm. Let's go with duo, maybe? Or... Yeah, sword slash. Then... Then the duo? No. Sword stab. Yeah, let's go with the sword stab. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this is not good. 67% more damage, so that means we're gonna take two damage this turn. Um, let's go with the Sword Slash. Perfect, now we have the combo, and then maybe do this. Yep, let's do that. 15 damage, that's that's not bad. Okay, what do we get now? Ooh, we can burn him, but maybe we should attack him first? Yeah, let's attack him first, increase the combo level. And then burn him. Nice. 24 damage. Perfect. Okay. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. He's got the defense again? Oh, come on. Come on. I gotta burn it away and now I don't get the... Oh. We don't get to immolate. Damn, son. Oh, uh, hold on. We, we are just gonna keep hitting him to gain the combo. Because the least thing we can do is get the burning sword, which is gonna... Take his shields away. He does two damage. Okay. Still no immolate. Okay. Uh, we're gonna hit him again with sword slash. Then do we go with duos? Yeah, we we go with duos. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, perfect. So we are one hit away from getting uh 10 damage oh my god he's gonna do 10 damage okay let's hit him again again seven hit combo let's see what we can do here shield nope nope oh no this is gonna hurt Ooh. okay so now we should be able to burn him away. So this is two mana, this is one mana. Let's use it for a combo. And then burn him away. 39 damage, perfect. Overkill. Oh yeah. Whew. Okay, we dealt with the boss, but now we're left on 12 HP. Okay. So we get to choose a reward. Okay, let's see. Ignition, Blazing, Rolling Flames. Hmm, burn an enemy for 48 damage, inflict an enemy with 9 burning damage, requires full... So, all 5 bars. So, what is this other one? Inflict, inflict all enemies with 3 burning damage, gain 3, mm -hmm, gain 1, mm -hmm, requires 2. Okay, this isn't actually bad. And this one is... Expand all spirits, meh. But this one... It costs actually zero mana. This isn't bad. I think we should go with this card because this run I had it full on everything. So yeah, let, let's take this card. It could be good. So, do we go event or shop? Hmm. Event, shop, event, shop. I think we're going to go shop. Okay, so what do we get here? Ooh, some nice cards. Nice cards, man! Hmm... I still don't know what it is, but... Hmm, let's see what else. Okay, this isn't actually that bad. This is actually quite good. Um, hmm. Do we buy this card or no? It costs two mana and it does a lot. Yeah, we, we're gonna buy it. We're gonna buy it definitely. Okay, what else do we get here? Come on, let's see this. 
Defensive Slash. This is actually quite good. We'll buy this as well. Because we can attack, gain shields and still work on our defending bonus. Which is quite good. We'll buy this as well just to see what it is. And I think that's it for now. We're going to leave the shop. Yeah. Okay, we're getting to Act 1, Floor 5. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I did like the game so far. It is like Slade Aspire. But if you did like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to get notified when I push out new videos. And if you have anything good to say or bad, please leave it down in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next episode or in the next video.